Our kids are still off school, and because we are starting on a big new renovation project after the holidays, we decided to treat ourselves and the girls with a trip to Anna's parents. We thought it could be nice to take you along and show you, amongst other things, a very special place where a simple beach hut costs as much as a chateau in France. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So we are through passport control. It's not passport control, that was ticket control. Oh, was it? Yes. Okay, we're through ticket control. Yeah. Step one. Step one. And it is, it's raining, it's horrible. Proper Normandy weather. I'm looking forward to come to the UK where it's traditionally always sunny. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ella? It's raining and all the land, if it's raining, all, all the land is going to be rained on. Yeah. Yeah. And even Mickey and Mickey Mouse. How excited are you? Ten, 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 ten. Ziggy doesn't like his muscle. Six. Oh, bless him. Come on, Ziggy, let's go and find the cabin. Four Zigwig. Five three oh five. Five three oh five. Can I put a card in? Yeah. Four. And a two card. It's whatever we want. Yeah, try. See which one works. Yeah. Uh, I try. Oh, the other way around, I think, Ella. back in the car and on our way to my parents' house and the kids have both fallen asleep. Can't wait to get there. And it's beautiful and sunny here. So oh, Philip is having a struggle with uh, remembering to drive on the left side of the road. Yes, everybody's on the wrong side here. <laughs> Luckily, everybody's on the wrong side because that makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> I always love this drive because it's um, beautiful. Yeah, it's going through Stunning. the new forest. Look, here. 
I think he's gone to the garden. Hello! Hey! Hey! hey. Hiya! Hey. Hey. Oh. oh dear, Ziggy's coming in. In coming, Ziggy. Ziggy! Ziggy. Where are we going? We are going to the beach! Anna's parents live about 15 minutes from the beach, but on the way to the beach, there's a very special building. There's something that is really exciting about this castle. Um, one thing is that this is where Philip and I got married. Yeah. yeah! The second thing is there are a lot of connections between this castle and where we live in France. This is Highcliffe Castle. It's a 19th century castle, but it looks much older than that. And that's because the man who had it built had a fantasy and he decided to take a lot of masonry and beautiful details from much older castles and chateau in Normandy, France, and bring them over and use them in the construction of this castle. So he basically stole all of it? No, they didn't, stole, they didn't steal you it. You don't know. How do you think that he brought <laughs> the things over then? I'm sure he legitimately paid for it. This is also the stained glass, which was bought in from Normandy. This is obviously from a church. I saw it's so fascinating. Somebody mentioned in the past, he just looked around, wanted to build a chateau for himself, and he found all these bits and pieces and built his own fantasy castle. It's maybe not very respectful, but, but today we are happy to have that building here. So it wasn't owned by any royalty, but there was a lot of royals that actually stayed here and Kaiser Wilhelm was probably the most famous. And then later, very interestingly, um, Mr. Selfridge of the department store, the famous first department store ever, he came here and lived here, I think in around 1916 and rented it and loved it so much he wanted to buy it. Unfortunately, the owners didn't want to sell it, but he ended up spending the rest of his life here. Given the fact that all the stones come from France, is it fair to have the British flag? It's, it's in England now, so it's a British castle now. You could point out where exactly we got married. We got married in the Winter Gardens, which is at the end of the castle over there, which has beautiful windows and it was very light and yeah, it was a magical place to get married. How many years ago did we get married here? Uh, almost nine years. Nine years? Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. Time has passed very fast. Yeah. A lot has happened since then. Yeah. And I don't think when we got married at this castle did we think that one day we would have our own castle, but you know, life is strange. And full of surprises. And full of surprises. A lot of people were asked, how, how did you do that nine years? How did I do that? How did I not already kill you? That's what they want to know. With Anna meeting up with some friends and the girls in the park with their grandparents, I'm left with some spare time. I have two options now. Either option one, I go to Southampton to look at some secondhand sailboats or I'm productive and work on my homepage. 
Now I hear you saying, Philip, working on a homepage takes forever. Enjoy your time here, go to Southampton. But those of you who watch our vlogs on a regular basis know that we have a sponsor called Squarespace, a wonderful company which allows you to create easily and quickly a professional looking web page without any programming skills. The reason why using Squarespace to create your website is so easy are the templates they provide for you. Pick the one that suits your style the best. You adapt it to your needs, you upload some pictures and all the text you need, add some cool modules like a password protected area, an online shop or a blog, and you're all set up. You can even buy your domain directly from Squarespace, so you don't have to hassle to deal with different providers. If like me, you have some spare time these days, you could use it productively and tackle that homepage project you have in mind for so long. And to do this, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a chateau to get 10% off your first purchase of a web page or domain. What's the plan now, Anna? We're going for a little walk along the coast, along the beach, to a very beautiful place. This is your beach, isn't it? This is the beach where I grew up and this is the reason that I wanted to buy a place close to the sea in Normandy. Because I spent a lot of happy memories as a child playing here. And as a teenager? Yeah, and as a teenager. <laughs> well, we won't go into those details. What? Is there something you should know? No, just innocent beach parties. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected. And bonfires. Absolutely, yeah. that's fine, that's fine. Right, let's go girls. Don't watch me with my poo bag. Yeah. It's not very glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, the five minute walk? <laughs> yeah. This looks good, good, this uh, fish and chips, no? Mm. Oh, oh, a big seagull. It's coming yeah. to steal some people's chips. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's my idea of a holiday. Fish, fish and chips on the beach. Fish and chips at the beach and the sun came out. You're cheap to run, Anna. Yeah. Anna. Yeah. You promised me we were seeing a boat. Yeah, here it is. That's not what I meant. We're going over to Mudderford Sandbanks. It's a beautiful place to spend the summer. 
It's also one of the places with the most expensive beach huts in the UK and maybe even in the world. He wants to get off. <laughs> we are on the search for beach hut number 131 because apparently it is for sale and it's one of the only beach huts on this whole strip which is for sale. So it's very rare. We're going to go and look for it. Let's go through here, maybe. Yeah. Oh, there's people there. People there, though. I feel like we're a bit in tr trespassing. <laughs> okay, well, we're on 333 three, three here. Which way? These are like basically tiny houses and they've been designed so they make the most of all the space that they have. So downstairs you have mostly like a living area but most of the sort of seating areas where you can sit and eat they also transform into beds and you have kitchens in some of them. Some of them even have toilets and obviously running water. Some of them a bit more basic and most of them they also have sleeping upstairs as well so they can sleep up to six or even eight people which is a little bit cramped but yeah i think it, i want to come and stay in one what do you reckon philip should we trade our chateau for a beach hut i do understand why people would like to have a hut here it's beautiful look at this this could be a tropical beach well a bit colder <laughs> After about 20 minutes search, I think we finally found it. The one hut for sale. Yeah. This do you, one. Do you have your checkbook ready, Anna? I quite like this one. It's got some charm. Yeah. Another renovation project for us, maybe? It's this one, Dad. Yeah. Maybe it's already sold. We saw this beach hut advertised locally for the modest sum of £500,000. And the most expensive beach hut ever sold here changed its owner for about 600000 So I would not want that one. Not for half a million? No, definitely not. It's probably sold because there's no sign on it. It's not that blue one there. No, I definitely remember because I saw pictures of the, um, of the table and chairs and the little balcony. Oh, yeah. If this is half a million, how much are those that we've seen before on the beach directly? It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's crazy. It's incredible. Okay, which one should we buy, Anna? You know me, I'll probably go for the project hut. I go for one of these up there on the beach that we've seen before. Yeah, okay. If you don't agree, Anna, we can't buy one. That's a shame because there's some great sailing around here. Oh, is it true? Well, look, there are boats everywhere. That's true. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And if you would like to support our channel, check out our Patreon page, where you can see backstage content and behind the scenes videos for as little as 5 euros a month.